You don't have to have a mega church and a huge budget to multiply. So I'm Josh Phillips, and this is my wife, Jeanette, and we're the lead pastors in Salem, Illinois. God was really like drawing our hearts to lead pastor again after a season of youth ministry. We heard that Salem was open. Salem was a church that needed to be revitalized, but we really felt the Lord like drawing us here. And so in the last year and a half, the church here has exploded. A lot of new families coming in, a lot of new life. When we felt like God was calling us to Salem, I got this crazy burden for the city of Odin. And so when they ended up closing, I was heartbroken. And we reached out to our friends in the district if the district would give us a chance at bringing this church back to life. And they said, yeah. Times have changed and not everyone is going to church on Sunday mornings. We thought dinner church would be something that would help bring people together. The dinner church model is a great model because you're just going to have a meal. I know dinner church has worked in large communities. What would it look like to do dinner church in a small community and will it work? And from what we're seeing and the response we're getting, they're excited. Our staff at Odin is uh, my mom and dad. I'm uh, Jim Phillips. I'm Margaret Phillips. And we're going to be pastoring at the Redemption Church in Odin, Illinois. They've pastored for like 40 years. They love God with all their heart. And they thought they were retiring like three years ago. When this opportunity came, we felt like they were the perfect fit. We're all about souls, and there's a lot of souls that needs to be reached at Odin. So we're excited about that work. A lot of the small towns are overlooked and they don't need to be overlooked. And church planting is a big deal where we can minister in these smaller towns. And it is very important to not say that a place is less important than another place because there is a timing for everything and it's time for Salem and Odin to explode for God. And if we just expand our mind to the place of like, okay, God, you're bigger than what I see here on a Sunday morning in my local congregation. What can I do to win the lost? What can I do to help the greater harvest here in Illinois and come behind the vision of our district leaders that say, Father, give us Illinois. What can I do to help with that? God will let you know. And it's probably gonna be bigger than anything you can do on your own. You don't have to do this by yourself. Pastor Phil, Pastor Roy, Pastor Ron, they are my pastors. And then there are other pastors in this district that have mentored us and poured into our life. I can call and they will pray with us and they'll call back and say, how did that turn out? How did it go? Is there anything I can do? It's a family. Our district leadership has a heart for every community in Illinois. And when we pray, Father, give us Illinois, it's the back alley in Chicago and it's the cornfields. God has a heart for every part of our state. And when we pray that, God will answer Answer, he will give us access to and influence in every community in our state because that's his heart. He has a heart for Illinois and every ministry leader can take part in multiplication.